Hey guys, welcome back to another Polish Pickup Shop with me. This month's theme is uh, spices and condiments. And right off the top, I just want to say I'm so sorry about my voice. I sound a little bit awful. I'm sick. Um, I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is I've already opened up all the tabs for all the polishes and we're just going to go through them. And I'm going to quickly decide if I want to wish list it or not. This is how I do it. I go through do it once through and I wish list everything that intrigues me and then I look at that cart and I pare it down to around four maybe less polishes so that I'm not going overboard every single month. So let's see what we have first. So we have 1422 designs. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Obviously a Beauty and the Beast reference. This is a gray polish with flakies in it and you know I love grays and flakies so that's going on the list. This is Adored Colors When You Cook With Heart. This is inspired by Vegeta, a spice used for cooking in Central Europe. Hmm, I've never heard of Vegeta outside of anime, so that's new to me. Um, I like this. It's cute, but I cannot see myself wearing it ever, to be quite honest. Let's see, we have Alchemy Lacquer Spice Spice Baby. This is inspired by Baby Spice from the Spice Girls. It's pretty. But again, I have so many pinks, and i that's such a bad excuse because I have so many everything. But unless it's really, like, screaming my name, I can't justify it. But I do love Alchemy Lacquers. I have two polishes by them. Formula is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. This is all mixed up lacquers, Himalayan on my peppercorns. This is inspired by pink Himalayan salt and pepper. And it's a kind of metallic-y... I guess it's supposed to be a shimmer. It's got a lot packed in there. Um, I think the main reason I like this is just because I like this salt shaker with a butt. So I know that that's what's pulling me in and not the polish itself. So I'm going to pass. This is Anchor and Heart Lacquers. We Lavender Saving the Bees. And this is inspired by Honey and Bees. Um, this one is cool because they're going to donate a dollar from every bottle sold to the Bee Conservancy which is a nonprofit focused on conservation of bees and things like that and how to build spaces where they can thrive, which is really something that is important to me. Um, personally, I really am a big advocate for bees. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird. I don't even buy products that uh, contain things like almonds in them because it's just not great for uh, bees and things like that, especially in California. So that is going to go on my list. I do like the message behind that one. This is Art as Nails Seasonings Greetings, inspired by Salt and Pepper. Now, I like this one. I think it's pretty. However, I did just buy something, I think, from Live Love Polish that looks similar. Atomic Polish Not So Stellar Blue. This is inspired by Blue Ketchup, which is honestly hilarious to me. Um, I used to love the weird colored condiments when I was a kid. A lot of adults think they're disgusting, but for me, I thought they were funny. But I do have a lot of metallics uh, in the blue family. This one is cool. Aurora Five Free Nail Lacquer Mother of Dragon's Fruit. This is really interesting, um, but it does look like similar to a Zoya polish I just recently bought. I bet the quality of this one is better than the Zoya polish, but I don't want to double up right now. Baroness X Blue Matcha Thermal Fluid Art Polish. This is something that I find really fascinating. The the therm or sorry the fluid art polish. It's something I want to try. I don't know much about it, um, but this one is obviously a thermal, and I'm banned from thermals, so it does look really cool though. Himalayan Crystals by BCV Lacquers, inspired by Himalayan Pink Salt. This is one of those that leans a little bit like white and so I just am not I mean I guess it looks light gray here but I think against my skin tone it would look more white so I'm not here for that. BKL Smut is a must inspired by spicy book scenes. Um, I like this particular formula by BKL. I think I have two by them where the the base and the flakes are really jam-packed in there, so you can't really differentiate which is which. However, I think I have one that's in a similar color scheme. Not, like, it doesn't have the purple in it. I think it's like a blue undertone, but 
I still don't need it. Black Dahlia Lacquer, say when. Say when is inspired by that Olive Garden server patiently waiting for you to end their cheese grating nightmare. That's pretty funny. Um, I just am not a huge fan of this color on me, so I will pass. Bluebird Lacquer, Spice Spice Baby. This is a brand that I hear a lot of good things about. However, I don't want my first shot at them to be a red because uh, I just am notoriously picky about red polishes because I don't like removing them and I know how to remove them correctly. I, contrary to popular belief, I know. I just don't want to do it. So I think it's pretty. I just, I want to try something else from Bluebird before I try that. Oh my gosh. Th what is this? What the heck? This looks fake. What the heck? That's so insane. This is by Danny Vienna Cinnabon Sugar. Um, a mix of silver reflective glitters and brown metallic glitters. Okay. All right. That's going on the wish list. This is, I, this must be one of those that looks insane when you turn the flash on. I think Fun Lacquer did a bunch of these recently and I wanted them, but very expensive, so I didn't. Um, so this one is going on the list. By Vanessa Molina, Dark Opal, inspired by Purple Basil. Let's see. This is multichrome and magnetic. It looks really cool. Looks kind of like a galaxy, but I do have a lot of those galaxy-leaning magnetics. Oh, you know what? This is a thermal, but it is really cool. Spice Souk uh, from... It's a Dubai Spice. Okay. That is really cool looking. I like the colors together. They look really pretty, but I would wear it once before it died and I would feel guilty about that. Cameo color lacquers. Cameo colors lacquers. Pink peppercorns inspired by pink peppercorns. This is one of those like, is it red? Is it pink? It's a cranberry red, I guess. It's pretty. But again, I don't like my first color from a brand to be red. I know that sounds so crazy, but it's the truth. Cattail, cinnamon sugar toast. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. My favorite childhood breakfast was cinnamon sugar toast. That is legit my favorite childhood breakfast. I used to, My mom used to put like 80 gallons of butter and then like cinnamon sugar on the toast. And look at me now. Um, but I don't... I don't know. It does look like cinnamon sugar, but it almost looks so gritty. I don't want to wear it. It's cute, though. I, I like the inspiration, too. It's kind of heartwarming. Color Spectrum Polish. A touch of TLC. This is cool. It's very silver. Very A lot of rainbows in there. But I think with that other super rainbow holographic I threw in, I wouldn't need this. This is Caloris de Carol, the captain. Um... For some reason, I thought it was going to be Captain Crunch. It's Old Spice Aftershave Lotion. A light taupe gray curly with red periwinkle and silver glitters. So I get where the inspiration is, but this honestly makes me think of the 4th of July. And I don't really like 4th of July polishes. So I'll skip that. Okay. This one is speaking to me. This is Crystal Knockout Blackberry Goodness. Inspired by Smucker's Blackberry Jam. Ooh, I love jam. Oh, that looks so cool when it's uh, matte. Oh, oh, man. I'm going to add this to the wish list, and I'm going to look at some of my flakies I got recently and see if um, it doesn't look similar. Okay, I had to go get some water because I could feel my voice dying. This is Cupcake Polish. I know it's extra. Inspired by guacamole. I think that it's looks like guac like i like the flakies in there but for some reason this is like one tone of green i just am not into i like darker grungier greens i don't like the mid-tone and like pa i like a pastel green if it's done right but typically i like the grosser looking greens whoa this is cuticulous flakies are like insane to me they just are so deep and uh layered and it, this one looks like fire it's called Chip Chip Hooray, inspired by Tostitos Salsa. I don't think I really have many red flakies. I like this brand. I have three polishes by them so far, and I love every single one of them. So let's add that to the wish list. I think it's time we can try a red from them. Ooh, damn nail polish. Purple mayo. Um, <laughs> I don't like white polish that much. I think it's cute. I like the little star glitters, but I would not wear that. 
do nail polish moringa uh it's a thermal sorry and it's in the green that i'm not a huge fan of so it, i like the little gold glitters in it though i do think it looks nice dreamline lacquer sage advice inspired by white sage this one is interesting because it looks like i know it's like sage green but it almost looks blue and it looks like it's similar to a finish i like from bkl and it looks super iridescent. Let's add that to the wish list. We'll think about it because it is intriguing me. Ooh. DRK Nails. Sumac me feel. Is it sumac or sumac? I actually don't know. It's like a tree, isn't it? Sumac me feel like a natural woman. Inspired by girl wearing a cap. Um, That's weird. It almost looks pink in this bottom left photo. And then it's like red in the top. That's the hard part with... Uh, like a variety of swatchers you know everybody does their lighting differently so it's hard sometimes to know the true color um i have one polish by drk and it's really nice but i just don't think that i'm ready to take our relationship to the red level yet envy lacquer so we got another one what the heck this is um popular spice i guess i've never used envy lacquer this is a really nice deep like burgundy i guess it's a ruby it looks really pretty but i'm just thinking about how bad that's gonna stain when i remove it oh my gosh this one looks like macaroni and cheese tajin queen okay Ooh, inspired by tajin spice on mangoes that sounds pretty good i don't know what tajin spice is but i like mangoes so it can't be bad um i really like this color it's really interesting hand mix poured bottle and label that's cool i mean i'm sure most of these are to be honest but like hmm, i've never tried fair maiden i'm gonna add that to my list let me know in the comments if you guys have tried fair maiden and let me know if you like them oh that looks really cool but it is in fact a thermal this is fancy gloss dried roses it is really cool there is a cap of 650 so if you want this snatch this one up because that is insanely interesting we have femme fatale cosmetics um Organo, what the hell? This is inspired by, oh, an episode of The Simpsons. That's funny. This is kind of insanely right up my alley because it goes from this disgusting green to this like slime green. And yet I cannot, I cannot do it. It's so cool though. And it's got flakies and glitters. Oh, if only I didn't have like 1500 nail polishes, I would be buying this. Garden Path Lacquers, a rat, a whisk, and a dream. Is this? Yep, this is Ratatouille. That is a really pretty polish. I like the um, the shimmer in it, like the reflect, I guess you'd say. But I don't know. I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of light playing on this picture, and so that's why it looks like that. But in re like regular light, I'm not sure if I really like the polish. Girly Bits Tap That, inspired by maple syrup. This is a brown hollow. Now, I have said before that I want one of these, so I'm going to throw this on my list. Let me know how you guys feel about Girly Bits. I've heard of them, I've seen them around, but I've never used them. Ah, Sweet and Low on the Go by Glisten and Glow. This is honestly, like, dead on. Like, that is the perfect pink for Sweet and Low. And it's got... Are those flakies in there like pink pinky purple flakies that's really pretty i have so many pinks in this tone though i cannot justify it but beautiful color and i love it with the inspiration hearts and promises netflix and dill inspired by dill not my tone of green cool polish i mean all of these are cool other i probably will never say like a polish is necessarily ugly i'll just say it's not for me and so this one's not for me Heather's Hughes Starflower, inspired by Borage. It's a tri-thermal. Okay, I guess we already know I can't buy this, but it's got, you can see all three of the colors here. That looks really pretty. Hit the bottle, give it away now. Inspired by Ground Chili Power Powder and the Red Hot Chili Pepper song, give it away. This is a brown stamping polish. I have so many stamping polishes, so we will pass. Indie by Patty Lopes purple beauty now this 
is pretty slick. It, it looks like an oil slick, to be quite honest. I have some of these like blue to purple kind of like multi-chromes, but this one, I don't know. I don't know if it's a picture, something looks different about it. I think it's because it's got like foil shimmer. So that's going on the list. I think I have one by Indie by Patty Lopes that I got in a D-stash and I haven't used it yet because I don't think I cared for the color specifically, but I want to try this. So let's see. What did the mama tomato say to her little one? Inspired by ketchup with ground black pepper mixed in. Highly specific situation. That's so cute though. I like this nail art. Um, I just bought one from Kathleen and Co. I think from the last one that was inspired by Checkers that looks a little bit similar, not like dead on, but has those same like red with the black flakies. So we'll pass. Gior, Gior Couture, Epice that's it. In Haiti, we use seasoning called Epice. Epice adds so much authentic flavor to meals. We put that ish on everything. Okay, that's cool. Very reflective, very pretty. Ooh, is that green? I can't. Yeah, dark green. Oh, this is another one of those like crazy reflective ones. Hmm. Hmm. Let me add that to the wish list and I'll decide which of the crazy reflective ones I want later. Saffron Crocus by Kathleen and Co. This is a Crelly Flaky. This is very cool. I have a lot of Crelly Flakies. I probably don't need this one. I probably have a few that are similar to this. So. We'll pass, but it does look really cool. And I like that purple and pink together. And where the, yeah, it looks really cool matte. Say It Ain't Cilantro by KB Shimmer. Um, this is another one of those crazy reflective ones. And honestly, are you one of those people that uh, cilantro tastes like soap to you? I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't like cilantro, but it doesn't taste like soap to me. Um, but, I don't, like, I'll eat food if it's in it. I don't, I don't really care. But this one, it looks like, oof. I can't tell what the green actually looks like plain. Um, it is really cool, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's super reflective, and I like that, and I want to try one of these crazy reflect polishes, but I just don't think this color is in the right vein for me. Crucible Designs Relish the Moment, inspired by Relish. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, like, just eaten relish on anything, but this is honestly a really perfect, like, way to, like, it, it's really good. How am I trying to say this? It looks exactly like relish. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm sick. Please forgive me. <laughs> yeah, it looks really pretty. It looks really cool. Ooh, I do like it. Ooh, it's only got 100 available. I'm going to add it to my wish list and I'll think about it. Alicia's Lacquer Spicy Mayo. Uh, <laughs> this is not my color, but I do love spicy mayo. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like these types of, like, is it yellow? Kind of yellowy, like the really light yellows. They don't look good on me. Lemon Lacquer Expanding Consciousness. Um... Looks like they were inspired by a lot of things. I cannot read all that right now. I'm so sorry. This is really pretty. Wow. It's like a green and purple. Ooh. ooh. I've never tried lemon lacquer. Oh, this has kind of got a similar flip to that one earlier. Let's add it to the wish list and I will compare the two later. Lily pad lacquer. Some like it hot. This one looks like fire in a bottle. Like leaves that you rake up. Oh, wow. That is insane. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's I love these flakies that Indies put out that are just so deep. This is an orange-brown jelly. Looks like something that I would like. Lucky 13 Lacquer. The spice must glow. Ooh, it's teal with a red, orange, gold, green flip. And it glows in the dark. What the heck? Oh, that's cool. Glow-in-the-dark polishes always get me. That's a nice green. Let's add that to the list. Lumen Sweet Heat. Inspired by sweet chili sauce. This, again, looks straight up like sweet chili sauce. It's pretty, but... I don't know. Why don't I want this? It's really cool, but I did get kind of an orange flaky recently that I'm still kind of stuck on. 
And I think it's just that more like metallic look is pushing me away. I'm just not into metallics right now so much. Bready to Jam by Linby Designs. I don't really like this tone of purple that is like kind of pink but kind of purple because I get so frustrated trying to classify it. Um, so I'm going to pass. What is this? Tears of Joy, MJ Lacquer. Inspired by Red Onions. Oh, that is really cute. I would never wear it because it's a white curly base, but you know what? A couple years ago, my boyfriend went through this phase of like eating an onion a day and it was disgusting and I'm so glad he's past that. Mumu Signatures Spice Up Your Life. I got one from them a couple months ago and it was really pretty. This one is inspired by Spice Girls. Again, I don't know anything about Spice Girls. I was too young in the 90s for that, but it is really cool. Moonshine Manny Star Baker. This is inspired by uh, the Great British Baking Show. Um, this is another one of those that kind of leans. Oh, it looks so vibrant here. But then it looks so like pale pink here. It's so hard for me to choose. I just, I think I'm going to say no. I want to place an order from her actual website, I think. MTK Design Death Soup. Inspired by Scarborough Fair, the song. Um interesting i do like that song is this a oh it's a thermal i should have known from this picture it is cool though like it's like a white to is that brown plum brown to a ghostly mushroomy grayish that is one of the most interesting um color flips i've ever seen on one of these so it's really cool i just can't buy a thermal oh my gosh purple ketchup by my indie polish that was my jam as a kid. I feel like I like that you can you can only see the colors on the flakies in some of these pictures. You can in this picture. But in some of these pictures, it's almost so dark that you can't see it. Hmm. I am going to add it to the wish list and think on it. Nail Artisan Cosmetics, Celine Dijon, <laughs> inspired by Mustard. Oh, man. When I was a kid, I hated mustard. My little sister would eat mustard sandwiches. And by that, I mean it was just mustard on bread. I don't like how icy this one is, but I do love the name and the inspiration. Nailed It Nail Polish. Salty Secrets. Inspired by Hawaiian sea salt. This is really pretty. This looks like a very fall kind of a polish. Um, The colors in it almost make it look like frosty in a way. I think because it's that like peachy pink, so I'll pass. Uh, Native War Paints, Shake It Like a Polaroid Picture, inspired by Salt and Pepper. Spot On, very cool. Um, I have never tried Native War Paints. This one is kind of intriguing me. Let's add it to the wish list. I like that, that extra hollow glitter in there. Night Owl Lacquer, Sweet and Spicy. I, it's very metallic looking. I mean, it's a multi-chrome, but... Let's see if I can click. I have a couple green multi-chromes that look too similar, so I'll pass. Noodles Nail Polish Winter Warmer, inspired by Sam Adams Winter's Spice Ale Cold Snap. I don't like this tone of blue, so I will pass. Polish Hot and Spicy, inspired by our favorite spicy snack. Well, is that what it's called? The Hot and Spicy? Or is your snack hot and spicy? Sheer Black, packed with... Spicy red, gold, and green shifting pigment. Again, I have a lot of more like multi chromes that are this tone. Paint it pretty polish with a cherry on top, inspired by cherry flavored dipping sauce. It's cute, all those flakies, but again, I cannot make my first try with this brand be a red because it will just ruin my relationship. Oh my gosh, what is this? Painted polish, spice up your life. I'm about to take back what I just said. Oh, it's pink, so it's okay. Hot pink jelly with black flakies and pink, orange, gold, color shifting, iridescent flakes. That's going on the wish list. That looks sick, Matt. Look at that. Um, pampered polishes past the poupon. Inspired by mustard. There's a lot of mustard polishes. I like this one, but the flakies are very sparse. I know that's probably by design, but I just, I like a jam-packed flaky. Paradox Polish and Soap Co. 
crocus sativus saffron inspired by the flower Ooh, that one's really pretty but like i said i did just get a really jam-packed purple flaky a couple months ago that looks pretty similar whoa penelope loose uh pretty food inspired by red cabbage pickles purple iridescent flake with black flaky purple micro hollow glitter oh okay yeah that that looks like red cabbage oh my gosh add that to the wish list pepper pot polish bury me in a vat of chimichurri um inspired by their favorite condiment murky green base with multiple shades of green glitter let's see just not my kind of green unfortunately but i like the the formula if it was like a different tone of green i would probably buy that phoenix poppies blue poppies inspired by the blue poppy um this is a very nice blue i feel like is that a clear base though i don't know i feel like it's not as filled with the base maybe it's just a picture it is pretty but it's like that right there is telling me like maybe it's not completely um opaque i don't know i'll add it to the wish list and look at it later poetry girl poetry cow girl nail polish i just got one from them last month and i really like it this one is called thousand island inspired by thousand island dressing um this color does not look good on me and the idea of wearing a dressing nail polish is so disgusting that i want it to look good on me because that is so funny but i just feel like this color is gonna look it's gonna look like i just have dressing on my nails because i feel like it's gonna match my skin tone too well Sorry, I had to pause it to cough. Um, this is Polish Molish, the Spice Melange. Um, strong red shimmer and blue reflective glitter. This is kind of insane. Add that to the wish list. Oh, we're almost done. Polish for Days English Lavender. This looks like a sort of similar to the, a couple of the others that I added. Let me add that and I will compare the three at this point. Red-Eyed Lacquer, Spice Up Your Life. Everybody's doing Spice Girls ones, and I wish I could be in on this because I never got into the Spice Girls because I was too young. Um, I also was deaf, so <laughs> I didn't get into music until I was a little older. Um, dulled Ultramarine Blue with a strong purple gold sh shimmer and hollow. It looks pretty, but it's not screaming my name. Red Panda Lacquer, Cajun Magic, Sheer very sheer orangey red mm. i only like shears when they are jellies so i'm gonna pass restored by polish by restored naturally is that the whole name restored by polish by restored naturally everything but the kitchen sink inspired by peppers of all varieties Ooh, this one looks like essie's belogaria if essie's belogaria was good let's add that to the wish list rogue lacquer mr rogue's special sauce Ha, huh, that's... Oh, okay. Her husband has a sauce that he likes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Wouldn't have named it that my personal self, but... All right, let's see. Um, bl Ox Blood Scattered Hollow. I think that's very pretty, but I actually have something that looks similar to that. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna pass. Maple Cream Cookies by Saki Cosmetics. I do love maple, but... It's too white for me. I'm sorry. That's pretty, though. That gold fleck in the jelly white. Sassy Cat's Lacquer Ocean Waves. Inspired by Blue Spirulina Smoothie Bowl. It is... I have a lot of blues in this tone. And I just... I don't love it with the flakies, I guess. Ooh, this actually... It looks cool when it's in this dark picture. But, like, this tone, I don't tend to like it. I don't know why. So I can't tell if it's dark or vibrant. So I'm just gonna pass. Sassy Sauce Polish, Saffron Sizzle. Now this one is kind of insane. I like this. It's a shifty multi-chrome shimmer that will shift pink, gold, green, and a lightly tinted indigo base with red, black, multi-chrome flakies. Oh my gosh, that's a lot going on. Add that to the list. I have a lot of flakies on here I need to compare. Scofflaw Varnish, frog, frog radish sauce. Sometimes you don't feel like a, oh, frog radish. Frog Radish? Hillary, oh my god. K 
kill me. <laughs> um, sometimes you don't feel like a little horse. You prefer a dash of frog. Oh my gosh. Um, it's cute, but I don't know. It's, I feel like I'm beyond the tiny circle glitters. If I have circle glitters, I want them to be giant for some reason. So I'm going to pass. Serum number five, everything but the pho. Inspired by all of the rich and warm spices that comes with making a hearty bowl of pho. Nothing sounds better to me right now than some pho right now. Oh my gosh, I wish I had some. Um, pretty honey caramel hollow filled with golden flakes and a dash of pinkish red shimmer. I feel like this color is not going to look good on me, but it does make me hungry. Starlight and Sparkles, Just Peppers, inspired by my spice herb allergies. <laughs> um, so let's see. That's kind of fun. So the inevitable question of Just Peppers and the imagined shadowy, nearly empty spice cabinet, empty save for a few powdered peppers. I like their take on this, uh, this prompt. It's a really dark colored polish. This almost looks similar in the base to Hollow Taco's Existential Crisis. Interesting. There's only 200. It's a little bit too dark for me right now. I'm not feeling the super dark polishes, so I'll pass. Stella Chroma, here I go, here I go. Inspired by Salt and Peppa's Shoop. Let's see. I'm not going to do this one because the color is just too light for me. However, I do like these kind of... They remind me of... Like, really nice, um, when you go to, like, a really nice hotel and they have, like, pillars of, like, marble and stuff with, like, the gold fleck through it. Weirdly specific, but yeah, that's what that reminds me of. We got seven more. Super Moon Lacquer Pepperberry. Um, it's a red. Gonna pass. Sweet and Sour Lacquer. If you mean green paprika, yes, sir. Inspired by a scene from that 70s show. This one looks... Not quite like um, the, what is, oh my gosh, I can't remember now. What is the green polish that I've been obsessed with from China Glaze that looks like a Christmas tree? Guys, my brain is so fried. It's really pretty though. <laughs> um, but I think I've added something already that looks similar. Sweetheart polish everything, inspired by everything but the bagel seasoning. So actually this one intrigues me because I did buy a polish from Unkosher Market that was quite expensive, like $18. It's a topper and it was in everything but the bagel or everything bagel seasoning polish. Um, this is a much cheaper alternative. I might just buy it to compare. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Twisting Nether, Lacquer, Ketchup and Mustard. I like this switch but again it is a thermal watcha vampire nightmare inspired by garlic this is another one of those crazy hollows but it is in the purple shade that i don't like so we'll pass wildflower lacquer wild hibiscus oh man i want to try this brand too so bad and i should just buy from their store because the polish pickup stuff it's like been not hitting for me but like some of their main collections have so Maybe I'll just take a look at their store. And Zombie Claw, Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. Inspired by, obviously, Pumpkin Spice. It's a pink, gold, green, flaky filled polish. It is, like, white-based, though, so I will pass. So that is every one of the polishes. I'm going to skip the other stuff this time with you guys because my voice is dying, and I'm sure most of you have stopped listening at this point because you're like, you sound terrible. My wish list this month has 27, I think 27 polishes on it. 6, 12, 18. No, why does it say 27 over here? But there's like 24. Okay, there's 24 on here. Um, so I have a lot of narrowing down to do. Like I said, I got to do four as my max. So I have a lot of thinking to do. I've got a couple days to work it out. But we will see. Let me know in the comments what you are picking up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.